to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Come to pass. So if God ever makes a declaration, he's vetted himself and found out that it is within his capacity to make that word come to pass. Let me tell you a few things he said about you. That if you shall diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that he commands you this day, there is a promise that he will exalt you above the nations of the earth and that these blessings will come upon you and overtake you. Is it in your Bible? Number two, that your path should be as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day. Do you believe that? Number three, that when men say there is a casting down, that's already an information that you are not a normal man because he didn't, he said when men, something about his presence in your life has translated you from a man to something else. This is what I believe. A display of his might in and through my life because if it is the Lord's doing it must be marvelous it must be marvelous ah. you are marvelous yeah. you are marvelous yeah. you are marvelous yeah. marvelous yeah. sing it just one more time you are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Marvelous, yeah. The Bible says, When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream let me prophesy to someone i stand tonight in the name of jesus and by this grace and i declare to you what god will do in your life from tonight it will be like a dream i speak it over your life i speak it over your family i speak it over your business in the name of jesus please sit down I believe in the might of God I believe in the power of God there are things that only God can do that God will so invest his grace upon your life and things will begin to come to you there is such a grace that was the grace that came upon Noah and his ark he didn't go to look for the animals there was something on him that made them come two by two seven by seven let me release that grace on your business on your ministry the grace that compels men to come from everywhere to acknowledge the workings of God in your life I stand by the God of heaven and I declare from tonight take that grace from tonight take that grace from tonight take that grace take that grace do wonders with that grace in the name of Jesus Christ please sit down the might of God we had the opportunity to visit very briefly after the morning service the facility that God is building for himself for this ministry and it was a wonder to behold there are things when you see you know this is God there are things when you see you know this is intellect there are things when you see you know this is just the wisdom that comes with time but there are things when you see you know that this is God the might of God number three why wonders why does god do wonders i will tell you because signs and wonders signs and wonders 
according to john chapter 4 and verse 48 miracles signs and wonders provoke men to believe not only that there is a god but to receive of this gift of salvation without the ministry of signs and wonders the global harvest will not be a reality we live in a world where people seek for signs they want to see the outstretched arm of god god does wonders so that there can be the end time harvest especially at this time it is his desire that all men be saved and everything he will have to do was it not the miracle listen was it not the miracle of the fish that made peter to say i am a sinner john 21 remember little children have you any catch said no he said cast your net to the right side and when they caught fish so much they had to beckon on their partners to help them and discerning it was jesus he came and he said depart from me there is something about the spectacular manifestation of the power and the grace of god that is able to bring men to their knees they know that truly there is a savior i thought all that rules the world is intellect i thought all that rules the world are principles but now i am forced to acknowledge that there is a god in heaven can i tell you this god is still in the business of winning souls God is still in the business of seeing to it that the nations come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Ask and I'll give the nations to you, O oh Lord. That's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands will see your light. As it rises on us, ask and I'll give the nations to you, O oh Lord. That's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands will see your light. I believe that we're stepping into seasons in the church age where nations will be saved in a day because of the dramatic demonstration of the power and the grace of God. Is it not written in your Bible that a nation can be born in one day? That it is possible to win more souls than all the crusades in a year in one moment. Charles, I think it was late Charles and Francis Hunter who said that one spectacular miracle is worth a thousand words you can talk to people and convince them jesus heals jesus saves jesus delivers and they look at you as an intelligent lecturer clap for you where necessary but when the power of god when jesus came to announce his messianic prophecy in luke chapter 4 he it was given to him the scroll of Isaiah the prophet and he began to read from from verse 15 downwards he said the spirit of the lord is upon me he said for he hath anointed me to preach glad tidings to the poor the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to set at liberty them that are bound to declare the acceptable year of the lord and he closed that book and said this day is this scripture fulfilled he would have gone to sit down no that's not the god of the bible woman with your withered hand he said stretch it forth when jesus showed up he turned that city upside down miracles upon miracles miracles upon miracles now there are people who downplay the miraculous simply because it's been exaggerated and exalted above the word the miraculous must never be exalted above doctrine and above the word however to push it aside is a joke now if i by the finger of god that have done this is an announcing that the kingdom has come to you i believe in miracles i see miracles everywhere miracles everywhere 
Miracles everywhere Right now Many years ago Apostle sir The Lord performed I think that would be The first spectacular Manifestation of the hand of God That I saw in my life And I would say through the ministry There was a gentleman who had his his spine now i'm not a doctor and they labeled the spine and this this gentleman had damaged the spine they were waiting to ship in some doctors from india to come and perform a very delicate surgery they are the teaching hospital in zaria and then i had an opportunity to talk with this gentleman in the night by call then phones just people just started having access to phones and then i called him and i told him i said do you believe now looking back honestly i don't know if i believed it will happen or not sometimes it's good to not know what you are praying about just pray quietly because you if you are aware of the gravity of what you are praying about it may dampen your faith i prayed over that gentleman and I stand before God, I lie not. He may be somewhere in the world following this teaching today. When I spoke over him, I had a loud shout. He had um, this brace, uh, they call it something that they hook, they just hold the neck so it doesn't move. And then this guy, he found a way of losing it and began to shout with the phone on. He ran to the mother's room and the last thing i heard before the phone was off was jesus and that was it you know how people come to greet when someone is bereaved that's what happened in their house the next day people came and said what in the world is going on who did this they said one gentleman like that who is he when i saw the x-ray myself and i saw the gentleman who had been healed i said only a fool will say in his heart there is no God. Listen, we need a display of signs and wonders. Please hear me with all due respect. If you are in ministry here, contend for the grace. This is a time when if you do not genuinely walk in signs and wonders, be ready for empty pews. People will not come for nothing. There is a hunger that is driving men to experience the God of the Bible in a way that is more than theory. Hallelujah. Do you know, that's not even the story. When this guy was healed, all of a sudden, I think over, it would be over the next one month, I got calls almost every day from doctors in the hospital. Apostle, sincerely, I'm struggling with something. I learned a lesson. People have problems, but they must vet your ability to help them before they open up. I was amazed at how many people just laugh whereas there are myriads of problems and i made up my mind that i did not want a powerless ministry god do not send me with only a sermon no he says i am not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power not just the message the power the power i said lord as you send me from nation to nation grant me grace to follow the path of our fathers men and women who kept nations at a standstill one time i watched the the crusade of tl osborne and i was in tears spectacular manifestations of the power of god to the point that the, the government would come together i know there was a nation that despised him and before he went to be with the lord they came together as a nation and invited him to apologize publicly We need to return the reality of the power and the grace of God. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search through all eternity, Lord. And find there is none. 
there are many of us who have loved ones who have refused to give their lives to Jesus you love them they love you back but they will not get born again do you know why there is something about your Christian experience that has failed to capture superior dimensions of the power the grace and the glory of God do you know what made the jailer remember Paul and Silas when the jailer saw that spectacular manifestation he was about to kill himself and he said no 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 we are fine and that was the harvest the church the the birthing of the church was a miracle it was a sign and a wonder the Bible says now when the day of Pentecost was fully come it says they were gathered together in one accord suddenly there was a sound always starts with that sound as of a mighty rushing wind then they saw what looked like cloven tongues as of fire it came and sat upon them are we together in one day three thousand people were saved it's my desire that the global harvest that is delaying the coming of christ oh yes he will not come until this gospel of the kingdom is preached as a witness to all creation then the end will come the end does not depend on him it depends on our mission that is scripture so we can look forward to and hasten the day of his coming to the degree to which we see the nation saved i pray that by this talk before we begin to pray that god will use this opportunity to plant a burden a burden for the nations a burden for the nations we're not good do you know the way our world now you can't even stop someone to preach because they can say you are a terrorist or something and arrest you and you will go to court that means there has to be an alternative system one-on-one -on -one evangelism right now the times that we live in is making it almost not possible you stand you're talking to someone and he says what are you telling my daughter you stand you're talking to someone he said ah no 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 last week that was how someone came in the name of jesus and robbed us go away so people will not listen here's the great commission he says go ye into the world and preach the gospel to every to all creation he told you the assignment go he told you what to do preach he told you who to preach to men and creation but he never told you how there has to be a display and an a display of signs wonders there's gonna be a great awakening it's a prophecy there's gonna be a great revival in our land there's gonna be a great awakening and everyone who calls on jesus they will be saved when 10 dead people come back to life in one week and while that is happening 50 jobless people in one week receive supernatural jobs jobs that glorify jesus while that is happening you have 19 sets of triplets coming back to back these are the kinds of, don't, don't release your faith for I'm, I'm talking of superior things now let me see who will come and stand and watch that plethora of the manifestation of the power of god and say it was stage managed no they are called notable miracles are we together while that is happening you go to bed wondering where will my rent come from and you wake up with a text message come and meet me somewhere in abuja and the person said the lord said for the sake of the kingdom let me give this to you and he said please if it's a scam if you are joking if it's april fool just tell me he said no 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 i was led lord pour out your spirit on all the nations of the earth let your sons and daughters speak your words of prophecy show your mighty power reveal 
the secrets of your heart Lord our faith is rising let creation see the coming of your name there's gonna be a great awakening there's gonna be a great revival in our land there's gonna be a great awakening and everyone who calls on Jesus they one miracle of a popular madman was equal to the salvation of ten cities one miracle of a popular prostitute was equal to the salvation of several people is it in your bible yes sir as the time draws near more than our messages we must trust god for a reign of the spirit not just falling down and standing up that is for church a demonstration of the power of God it was our father of blessed memory Archbishop Benson Idahosa who stood over a city and declared that a conference that will honor Satan would not hold ah Lord restore the days of power back to the church genuine power when Moses stood before Pharaoh he didn't talk for long he allowed the mantles to keep speaking we are talking too much is the reason why the world has no value and regard for the investment of God upon our lives again when our words become few and the signs become multiplied then the nations will come to their knees again and I know in the name of Jesus that in our lifetime will see Jesus exalted again that signs and wonders will be wrought in the name of his holy son to the end that souls be saved to the end that the harvest the harvest is wide do you know we have over I don't know how many people are on earth currently now I know it's getting close to 8 billion I hope I'm right did you know that there are just about maybe about 2 million or a little over 2 million people professing Christians I don't mean as a religion people who have had the opportunity to hear the gospel and to give their lives to Jesus you calculate that if you were God will you come back no there is a big burden I know you want to receive but let's let's share the father's heart a bit this is more than just the issue of miracles and signs and wonders this is more than the issue of a man of God being powerful there is a hunger in the heart of the father it is his desire that all men be saved let me tell you God will pour out every dimension of grace we need to see that this global harvest is a reality there are people in this city who do not call upon the name of the Lord they don't care they hate God and they are proud of it nothing has happened enough to compel them hmm. we have prayed we have spoken we have written books it's time to demonstrate the reality of the power the grace of God like many of you have received on this platform you will never forget Reha IC do you know why you may forget what I'm teaching now but you can't forget what God did to you encounters come see a man that told me everything I have done This is why God is revealing himself as the God of wonders. But very quickly, haven't established the reason why miracles and wonders happen. There is a key. One key that I want to share. That I believe has limited the absence of it in the life of a believer. The absence of it in the life of a church the absence of it in the life of a family a business 
will limit the manifestation of the power of God. Please open your heart and open your spirit. More than your fasting, more than prayer, more than Bible study, more than communion. I want to give you a key that when you hold this key, you have held the heart of God. And he will show up again and again as though he owes you his presence. It is true. I know this. The key I have found that controls the outstretched arm of God over the life of a believer is the purity of your motif. The purity of your motif. Believers, please listen. People are following from different nations. There are pastors, there are leaders. Listen to me. More than fasting, as important as that is, more than prayer, more than organization, more than sincere hearts, the principal determinant, the principal determinant is the sincerity and the purity of your motive. Jeremiah John 17 and verse 1 for time's sake I may not go to Jeremiah John 17 and verse 1 Jesus is praying now he lifted up his head and the Bible says he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said father the hour is come glorify thy son why that thy son may glorify thee increase my ministry why there is a question you must answer in the realm of the spirit to command the hand of god the question is why lord i need an impartation of grace it is available but why lord i need to have the kind of visibility that will cause the nations of the earth to see that is available why this question why seeks to probe the motif there are so many believers who have the stamina to stretch through spiritual activities but they find out that regardless the fact that they are engaging in correct spiritual activities working in keeping with the principles that scripture said should deliver certain results they still do not find that result i tell you the missing key something about the corruption of our hearts something about the insincerity of our motives it doesn't mean we are bad it just means we are men there is a weakness in men the tendency to want to be praised the tendency to outshine the tendency to make a name men historically have been obsessed with power obsessed with control obsessed with a, a show of superiority and some of us come from backgrounds listen carefully some of us come from backgrounds especially sadly speaking and respectfully so as a continent you see when you come from a background of deprivation it can affect you because there is a lost an appetite to prove a point and that becomes a hindrance to genuine power and genuine grace so someone told you you will never be anything and now there is that itch lord grant me an anointing that will make everyone call me joshua selman and so you, you you like it so that they will know it's amazing what motivates us i want to become a senator why so that people will know the politician who said i cannot become it that's too small a reason let me tell you this until kingdom come is found in your desire god is not interested write this down until kingdom come is found in your desire no matter what you ask for god is able to give provided there is kingdom come my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised truly that you be praised 
It's my one desire that you be praised, that you be praised. I think it was Freke Omar that sang, If it's not in your presence, if it's not by your word if it's not by your spirit don't let me have it for everything i need is in you if it's not in your presence if it's not by your word this is my version now if it's not for your glory don't let me have it for everything i need is in you listen some of the people who have been greatly used by god in across the nations they never had a desire for fame they never had a desire for ministry when i started ministry i never knew i wouldn't have believed that a man could preach and they would count maybe money or a gift and say thank you it was strange for me that you would preach and someone would bring a basket of fruits and say thank you wow my desire was is and will always be to see Jesus revealed, to see Jesus glorified, to see Jesus revealed, to see Jesus glorified. If in the course of doing that, he chooses by his greatness and his majesty to grant me an opportunity to experience what it means to be blessed, to be lifted, to be honored, I receive with thanksgiving, with, but then my eyes remain focused. I tell you sincerely, I stand before God and I am sorry if I sound arrogant. It has never been my desire for fame, for some of these things. No, never. I came from a very conservative background. So it, it, that, that desire is not even something that territorially, it's not something that, that I'm accustomed to. Let me tell you, there are many pastors there are many leaders there are many business people when the spirit of grace comes over your life he finds activities that are correct but a motif that is corrupted there is lost hidden let me just manifest and no man of god will be able to talk to me again let me just manifest and i will look at apostle Guthard and say are you not preaching i'm preaching too are you not healing i'm healing too and and god says no 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 no. i love you too much to lift you i have vetted you and i found out that the safest position for you is where you are not every delay is demonic there are things that are done by god as an act of his mercy Father, what is it about a land that you cannot give me? There is nothing you cannot do. You are correct. What is it about a door that you cannot open? What is it about a miracle that you cannot give me? But every time the spirit of grace comes, it says that this family is filled with a desire. And you see, the thing about lust is it can hide for a long time. Don't be mistaken that just because it has not manifested yet, it doesn't mean it is not there. Hiding for when an opportunity is provided. There are people today that from the day they heal the sick, they don't listen to anybody again. Even in church. From the day they lead a prayer, the pastor cannot talk to them again. How are you, sir? What do you mean by that? The same Lord is rich unto all, they say. Nah. The Lord told me something many years ago. He said, son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you.
we live in times when we desire the celebrity lifestyle to be the center of attraction <laughs> oh. I'm sure there are some of you one while you see the men and women of God and people who are deserving of honor filing in something in you there's an itch I want to be there I want to be at the center stage at the center of it all it's you that I see it's you that I see At the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. You see, whatever motivates you to seek God is what will sustain you while you seek Him. If your motivation is fame, the day you get it, the impetus to remain a student in the school of the Spirit will no longer be there because the motivation was not Him, the motivation was it cars fame houses these things are not wrong in themselves career breakthrough liftings you're about to experience the hand of god but i must be sincere with you as we conclude this conference can you look past those things can you push them like jacob pushed his wives his cattle and when he was alone then a man came the condition to meet him is that nothing else must stand his way You are the reason I leave. You're the one for me. You're the one for me. He's the reason I leave. You're the one for me. Church is quiet. <laughs> yes, sir. Whilst you are looking at me, some of you following online, the Spirit of God is speaking to you. This is it. This is why the breakthrough has been pending. Oh, Hannah, could this be why the child is not yet here? Because the desire is to prove to Penina you are also a woman until the day you align your desire to kingdom come samuel is not on his way coming soon the hour has come glorify now thy son only to the end am i wasting your time let me tell you this it's a secret you ask anyone who is sincere who is being used by god mightily whether in ministry in business in career do you know i have looked at people sincerely and i have seen that there are people they as far as compliance to principles that make for success for greatness i have looked at their lives sincerely and i have seen gaps it's not like they've kept those principles 100 percent you look at their lives and you know no 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 based on the ethics of business this man should not be in this position but somewhere his desire filled in the gap his hunger for god he said well i don't have the the business connection i don't have everything but i have a sincere desire be lifted high be lifted high oh lord be lifted high for you are holy oh lord be lifted now i've had the honor and the rare privilege of having a few personal times with god's servant your father alongside his dear wife and i can tell you that all I have seen in their heart is a genuine desire for Jesus. I am amazed at the hunger. I'm saying it in the open and I'm saying it sincerely. The goodness of their hearts, the purity 
of their desire to see Christ revealed, to see lives blessed. You must love people more than your reputation. You must love his purposes more than the benefits that come to you. This I have seen in the life of this humble servant of God and the wife. Could this be why business is hard? Could this be why the destiny helpers are yet to show up? Man of God, I know you are a prophet. You should be prophesying to nations based on the grace God has put upon your life. Could it be that it was the hand of God stopping your rising? He does not stop it out of hate. He stops it out of love. I cried to the Lord every day before I would come here. I got down on my knees and I said, my Savior and my King, your majesty, I call him. Now I have the opportunity to come and bless your people again. Let it please you to flow through me and do mighty things. Make a name for yourself. Let Jesus be glorified. Take the stage, Lord. Have your way. I'm just a vessel. Truly nothing more. This is not condemnation. It's revelation. When you're done, would you please take the glory? I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. Come in an acne. Come in an acne. Come in an acne. Yeah, yes. Come in an acne. Yeshua Hamashia. Come in an acne. Yeshua Hamashia. Come. I'm going to make an altar call but we'll pray there is a very serious altar call i want to make now inside outside those following it's gotta be more than this it's gotta be more gotta be more it's gotta be more than this for desperate people do desperate things and we press in him it's gotta be more gotta be more it's gotta be more than this you are here and whilst whilst you are seated there inside outside or from whatever nation you're saying apostle it's time for me to win this war this war of pride this war of self it's time to really make jesus lord of my life i'm tired of being a church goer i'm tired of being around the things of god or you are here you're saying i need to be serious with god I'm going to count one to five. Please ushers allow them. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain. Those who are coming from outside, if it's possible, please give them room. I'd like you to run and come and stand here right now. One. We are desperate people. Please stand because of space. Cry before your Lord. Why do you come here? We are desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. Two, are you running? We are desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. Three, we are desperate people. Are you celebrating a harvest in logic? We're tired of the status quo. There's gotta be more than me. We're tired of the status quo. There's gotta be more than this. 
It's gotta be more, gotta be more. Help me say it's gotta be more than this. Four. It's gotta be, gotta be. It's gotta be more than this. I've seen the God of wonders work miracles for me. Those with gifts and talents spoke prophetically. The mantles of Elijah, Paul and Timothy. I want to see that power at work inside of me. I'm tired of the status quo. There's gotta be more than this. I'm tired of the status quo. There's gotta be more than this. There's gotta be more. There's gotta be more than this. Listen. Some of you are crying. There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's like being called to receive an award. It's not a funeral. If there are still people, please quickly come. If this is all we do tonight, it's worth it. We used to sing an old hymn in the seminary. Must I go an empty handed? He says, Must I meet my Savior soul? He said, Not one soul with which to greet him. He is able to save to the uttermost. It is the thief. Hear me. It is the thief. Let her come. She's running to Jesus. There is an encounter she's having. This was what used to happen in the days of the generals. When they would run by the spirit and come to Jesus. Listen to me, my dear people. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Your grace has found me just as I am. Empty handed, but alive in your hands. Your majesty. Majesty Forever I am changed by your love In the presence of your majesty I thank you for heeding to this call Some of you are making this This surrender not just for yourself but for generations unborn i see an elderly man one of our fathers here i see one of our mothers here young and old together this is what happens when the god of wonders when he comes to his people i want you to lift your right hand sincerely and truly from your heart you're not reciting a poem this is a declaration don't be ashamed of your tears you're before jesus the son of the living god talk to him in one minute before i lead you to a prayer jesus the son of god i believe in you i believe I call you my Messiah, Jesus, Son of God. I believe in you. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness.
but holy lean on Christ the solid rock I stand truly all Lord the ground is sinking sand All together in concert and some of you may not be out here but you know you should be saying this prayer hold on guys some of you are following from the US from Canada you're in your home your office and whilst you're watching right now here at Reha IC 2021 the Spirit of God is telling you to participate in this prayer because Jesus said when he comes he will convict the world of sin of righteousness and of judgment lift your hands say this after me loud from the depth of your heart and mean it say Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I come before you, come before you. Just, as I am. just as I am I declare, I declare that, I that I am unable to help myself, help myself. but I thank, I thank you for dying for me, dying for me. thank you for your blood thank you for the cross tonight i declare that you are my savior my lord and my king i receive forgiveness of sin i receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness i declare by the authority of scripture that from today and forever I am a child of God I declare a new life in Christ Jesus I declare that every guilt every shame every sin the past is gone gone forever amen keep your hands lifted your majesty we present to you the ones you died for it's an honor to lift these ones as a trophy. The harvest from Riha IC 2021. Thank you for drawing as many to your loving arms, to your saving grace. You are able to save to the uttermost. I pray in the name of Jesus according to the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven. I declare that you are partakers of the life of God. I introduce you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I pray that he will open up scripture to you. I pray that he will guide you and you will be strong and mighty. May God make vessels of honor out of you. The power of sin, the power of flesh, the power of the grave, the power of the devil is broken over your life. In the name of Jesus. Help that lady there. In the name that is above all names. From today, everything that has kept you down so that you will not serve the Lord acceptably, I release you. Walk in the newness of life. In the name of Jesus. Let's celebrate a harvest here. Yeah? Now, someone guide me. Okay. Now, this is what I want you to do. All of you, for a few minutes, please, I'd like you to comply. Congratulations. You will see a few counselors just waving their hands. All of you in concert while we celebrate you. I'd like you to please move. If we could have some more hands so that we'll help them fast so they can come and join the prayer. Let's celebrate them. Roger, is this the best you can do? Are you celebrating what Jesus is doing? You have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well. Jesus, you have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well. Roger, lift your voice and sing. You have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well. Jesus. You have done me well, you have done me well, you have done me well. One more time everybody. You have done me well, you have done me well, you have done me
now i know that i have a few minutes please be patient because god will finish what he started this night are we together this is our last session now please if i may request how many of you came with the, your prayer request all right so if if there is a way we can just facilitate the counseling with our dear people so that they can come and join because the rain is about to fall here right now in the name of jesus if pastor allows may i request that we have maybe some ushers quickly just uh, i don't know how they're going to find a way to collect these requests if you're yet to write or if you wrote something and your faith didn't add others please increase it write it down write it down we're about to pray whilst you're writing i'd like you to begin to pray you can write on behalf of your group write on behalf of your company write on behalf of your business write on behalf of your children please we're going to pray the power of God is strong in this place. see ushers waving their hands you just pass it to them please pass it to Ed, to any usher by your left and right outside i don't know if we have those who are following online you were given an email to send you were given an email to send your request if you are yet to do so oh dear can someone help me with the email what what was the email address pray for me okay so please following from whatever nation you just send your request right now pray for me at gmail.com pray for me pray for me as one word pray for me at gmail.com send it right now dot org oh i see it's not dot com it's dot org i apologize Holy, holy, are you Lord God Almighty? Hallelujah. Can I have that? Where's the gentleman that sang the, uh, what's his name now? I don't know. Where are you? Okay, so you, so we'll we, we do some work, huh? I, I, I just, I want him to sing this song. It doesn't have to come up, but please just give him the mic too. Let him be part of what is happening now. Together, together. Just, just this song holy. Almighty. Worthy is the Lamb. Shala Worthy is the Lamb. You are holy. Bye. 
you reign forever Lord you reign forever I worship you I worship you Lord you reign forever Lord you reign forever I Lord, you reign, say, Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign forever. I worship you. I worship you, Lord. I worship you. Lord, you reign, you reign. Lord, you reign forever. Please pass it to, just write very quickly and then pass it. Just wave it, someone will be there to pick it. in this place this is the last session and I know that we have come people have come to be healed people have come to be delivered people have come to receive a touch from God we have spent time building our faith we have spent time seeing to it that there's a harvest of souls I want to assure you that it will not take long God will visit you quickly but this is my request please let your heart be opened for the impartation for the prophetic words for the sake of time I may not have the time to prophesy to individuals so we can redeem time but then I really want to take out time and just minister to people there are obstacles standing your way there are limitations all kinds of yokes the Bible says Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power it says and he went about doing good healing all they that were oppressed of the devil pray please can we rise the Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance then holiness and then the sons of Jacob shall receive their possessions so would you allow them to bring it here please can someone just come I just wanted to pour the request here we're going to be laying hands on it prophetically ah someone's life is about to change okay please make sure those online sending sending your prayer request we're going to pray as we're praying prophetically here over your request i want you to know that um we have received yours and you will receive that miracle for sure i guarantee you but i want to pray right now listen there are people here who are under all kinds of yokes yokes of oppression the Bible says arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you Isaiah 60 verse 1 amplified it says for your light is come I want to pray for you there is a sword 
tonight this place is gabatha is the stone of judgment upon every force that is not of the christ and we are going to pray the fire of god is going to fall here please like we did in previous sessions whether you are an usher or not you are going to help them because i want you to bring out those people here that every planting that is not of the lord over the life and the family of anyone it must give way now lift your hands father in the name of jesus i stand by the god of heaven in partnership with your servant apostle goodheart and i decree and declare right now at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus and as you shout that name loud inside and outside online every force of darkness kabasitaya tying anyone's destiny down that has found that you will not rise is about to let you go now are you ready now one two three shout jesus right now i command those powers be gone right now release your destinies now bring them out please release your destinies right now in the name of jesus christ i set on fire every altar that is not of god yokes of darkness i declare be released now please bring them out be released now by the fire of the holy ghost be released right now i'm seeing a, a there is a grace that is coming on women i'm seeing chains people who have been bound i stretch my hands i'm seeing the number 13 i don't know where you are but right now i stretch my hands in the name of jesus at the count of three may that fire come upon you please bring them out one two three take that fire right now take that fire every altar of darkness tying your destiny it must let you go now it must let you go now hold mama carefully bring out now listen you are standing you are standing for families there are some of you listen to me you are not just please don't come out at random those under the anointing just bring those under the anointing in the name of jesus christ there are families here that are under all kinds of yokes my goodness i'm telling you i'm just seeing like 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 light just coming on people i'm stretching my hands right now please help me help this guy let him know what to do huh in the name of jesus christ at the count of three there is such massive deliverance going on right now one two three take that grace right now the chains that have held you down there are people who cannot move forward you've been in abuja for years and it looks like there are forces holding you down i declare be released now be released now be released now by the power of the holy ghost bring them out be released now in the name of jesus blessing blessing who is blessing i'm hearing the name blessing you are wearing black with a black face mask all black all black is there someone like that blessing it's time for your life to change i stretch my hands right now change in the name of jesus christ by the spirit of grace bring them out fire is burning in this place in the name of jesus fire is burning in this place i set every altar please connect please connect be serious i set every altar here at Riha i see all of you who are in front here the spirits that oppress you at the count of three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies in the name of jesus christ hallelujah this man this is your wife two of you come 
goodness we have to work with time i apologize we may not are you pastors you are pastors your life is about to change you stand up my goodness please look at me can i pray for you listen you came here desiring an anointing there is a strange grace that is going to come upon you and your wife and in the name of jesus it will shift you to dimensions untold i stretch my hands towards you by the spirit drink of that wine right now two of you take that grace fire in the name of jesus fire a new dimension in ministry i measure a thousand cubits in the spirit and i shift you deeper waters deeper dimensions of impact in the mighty and the matchless name of jesus christ now hear me i want to pray i'm seeing the mantle for the prophetic i'm seeing the number 14 please just give me strings it's going to come on 14 people i'm seeing some of you have prayed some of you have fasted you have seen it in dreams and visions the prophetic is real i know that there are abuses and the rest but please don't confuse that there are people who can step into this grace i want to stretch my hands father i do not know where they are across the length and the breadth of this auditorium but there are people you have preordained to be in this meeting that must drink of this wine my god i'm seeing an eagle there it goes in the name of jesus at the count of three may that grace and that mantle fall like a tornado upon your life are you ready one two three take that grace help them help them help that gentleman i activate that prophetic the eyes that see the ears that hear help this pastor my goodness in the name of jesus step into levels of fire in the name of jesus step into levels of fire bring them out drink of that prophetic well spring up all wells in the name of jesus hear me in this season deborah's are rising there are women of power women of grace i'm about to release that grace where are deborah share the word of the lord i bring a clarion call by the spirit at the count of three may that man to locate you right now one two three take that grace fire upon your life fire upon your ministry fire upon the borders fire upon the borders fire take that grace two of you this this pastor take that grace take that grace you and your wife take that grace in the name of jesus the spirit of the lord is saying i'm revealing my glory in a new dimension your eyes will see it i'm revealing my glory in a new dimension your eyes will see it i'm still i don't know why god is still saying to speak over women there are people you are returning back to the realm of prophetic dreams where you will see things before they happen i stretch my hands take that grace right now 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 hallelujah madam this woman with green yes lift your hands is are you husband and wife sir lift your hands both of you i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on both of you i'm stretching my hands take that grace both of you in the name of jesus the christ of god drink of this grace step into new dimensions in the spirit help them in the name of jesus you will never be the same never be the same never be the same never be the same by the spirit of the living god now hear me every door that has refused to open
in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you now for as long as it is a door standing before you Mateus Kani Parahasia and it has refused to open I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of Jesus I speak to that door Ephata be open hidden Tita Ephata be open hidden Tita open your mouth and begin to pray dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline